love waking up every morning hearing our crost croster, our roaster, roaster, <laughs> our rooster crowing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hello, my name is Alicia. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I have already reached 200 subscribers and it's only been a month. So thank you so much to everyone who has clicked that subscribe button. It means so much to me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a big issue that a lot of chicken owners have, and that is mites. I'm going to be talking about two different kinds of mites today, that is the red mite and the scaly leg mite, and ways that we deal with these mites and different things that we do, how to prevent them from turning into massive infestations. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. Before I get started, I just want to say how much I love having my own chickens. I love waking up every morning to the rooster crowing. <laughs> And let's not forget how delicious the free-range eggs are. We actually haven't purchased a supermarket egg for four years now. We bought this beautiful 10-acre block four years ago and chickens were one of the first animals that we bought. So how amazing is that? If you're on the fence about getting chickens or you've just bought a new block, I highly, highly recommend getting them. You will not regret it once you taste those delicious eggs. In general, chickens are really easy to care for, but like all animals, there is always little things to look out for, which is definitely mites. So we're gonna be talking about two different kinds of mites. The first one is red mite, and the second is scaly leg mite. So red mite is commonly found underneath the wings of your chickens at the base, and also in the vent area, which is their bum. Um, if you notice your chicken has quite a dirty bum, um, looks unwell, has a pale comb, um, or even bald patches, definitely pick up your chicken and have a look, and I bet you it has a mite infestation. These mites can drastically affect your hens, even end up killing your hens, so definitely get onto this very quickly. Today I will be showing you what we do to prevent these mites, however if you do have a very bad mite infestation you definitely need to go to your vets and get some ivermectin for your chicken. Now you might not be able to see these mites very easily during the day, that's because they mostly come out at night and during the day they hide in all the little nooks and crannies inside your chicken coop. Next up we have the scaly leg mite, this one's really easy to identify, just check your chicken's legs and if it has big scabby, crusty looking things on its leg, then it's probably from the scaly leg mites. Here is an example of what the scaly might look like. The scaly leg mite can cause a lot of lameness in chickens and it can even make them lose their toes. It is really, really contagious to all the other chickens, so if you see it, definitely treat it as soon as possible. At the moment we do have a bit of a breakout with the scaly leg mite, so I'm going to grab some chickens shortly and show you what we do to kill all of these mites. It doesn't help that it's summer, super, super humid, which is the perfect environment for all these mites to breed. So I have one of my young chicks here. She is about four months old, so of course is in very good condition and has very nice feet. So I thought she would be a perfect example to show you of what good, healthy chicken feet look like. As you can see, her scales are very nice and shiny and clean and there is definitely no leg mite present. Here is an example of what they look like when they get scaly leg mite. This girl has a minor scaly leg mite infestation. Um, there's also this girl at the top here. Hers is slightly more intense than the other one, so shortly I'll show you what we do to fix that. We come out to the coop in the evening when the chickens are roosting because it's a lot easier to catch them this way. So what we use for the chickens with scaly leg mite is oil, just normal vegetable oil. So how it works is you coat all their legs in the veggie oil and it smothers and suffocates all those mites. So this girl is one of our oldest chickens that we have. I'd say she'd be around five or six. Um, we got her when we first moved here and she was about one. In the past we have actually used Vaseline as well. Pretty much you can use anything that will suffocate the mites. All we do is grab our cup full of oil and dunk her feet in, leaving them in there for a few seconds. And 
and I didn't do it quite deep enough so I'll just tip some on the top of her legs as well. Then I'll grab my hands and massage those feet. Making sure they're nice and covered in oil. The chicken's actually really good and don't really mind you doing this, surprisingly. So yeah, make sure you're getting all those nooks and crannies. They're all hiding deep in those scales. Don't forget to do the upper leg as well. Here we have another chicken with scaly leg mite. This one is slightly more severe than the other one. She would probably be the one with the worst scaly leg mite. We actually only bought her about a year ago and she came with the scaly leg mite. And I'll show you up close shortly. She's actually missing a few toes. She is also a slightly older bird so her feet aren't in the best condition. You can see on this foot here that she is missing a toe now. Same with this leg. So she'll definitely benefit from another treatment of oil. So we'll pop her foot in there. I should have definitely filled this cup up a lot more. Um, but I have been doing other chickens before these two, so I've used up a lot of the oil. So now her feet will probably be a little bit more tender and sore because her mite infestation is a lot worse than the other chicken. All right, next up is how to get rid of those red mites. The easiest way to get rid of red mites is to provide your chickens with a dust bath. So the benefits of having a dust bath is the chickens love to roll around in it. It cleans all their feathers, it removes excess oils, and it also cleans all those mites and fleas. Shortly we're going to be putting together a dust bath. I'll show you what ingredients we need to put in it for the chickens. But a main key ingredient for this dust bath is this diatomaceous earth. I will probably refer this to dens throughout the video because if you say diatomaceous earth too many times you end up saying like diatomaceous earth and it doesn't even make sense. So yeah, if I say dens, this is what I'm referring to. So how this dens powder works is that the mites crawl through it and it slowly erodes away their waxy coat that they have on their exoskeleton, which leads them to dehydrate and therefore dry up and die. This stuff takes 12 hours to even five days to work properly, so definitely it works best when you're applying small amounts on a regular basis. Like I said before though, this is mainly for a preventative or for small infestations. If your chicken is severely infested with mites, you definitely need to go to the vet. This will not um, cure that chicken. Okay, so time to make this dust bath. So the main ingredients we have is the wood ash to our left, the dirt in the middle and the dens powder on the right. And I'm just using this container, it's just an old um, molasses container. And I made sure I've put holes in the bottom to let all the water out. When selecting your dirt, just make sure it's nice and dusty because they need to be able to get that through their feathers quite easily. We want to do two parts soil to one part wood ash and then we want to sprinkle on our dense powder, mix it all up. You can also add in some dried herbs like lavender or rosemary. The strong scents um, also deter the mites. But for today's dust bath we're just going to use these three main ingredients. So first of all we will tip in the soil. Oh, it is definitely dusty. And then we'll put in the wood ash. Now do make sure that your ash is strictly wood ash. You don't want to put in ashes that contain plastic or any other chemical in it. Sometimes the chickens actually do pick what's in this dust bath. Um, it's okay if they eat the charcoal because that actually helps get rid of internal parasites. 
So what we'll do is we'll tip this wood ash in. We've probably got, oh God, that's even worse, Dusty. Ah, and the wind's going that way. All right, I thought we had too much, but that is actually at the perfect amount. So then we'll just use the scoop and mix that together. Lastly, we'll put our diatomaceous earth powder in. Just a sprinkle. I mean, I probably put, I'd say like a sort of a handful in. Sprinkle that in. Now this stuff does stick to your hands like crazy. That's all good. So we'll seal that back up and we'll mix all this in as well. So here's the final result of the dust bath that we made. Super, super easy to do, really, really affordable. A great way to get rid of all those wood ashes that you have over winter and really, really beneficial for your chickens. If you have noticed a severe mite infestation, definitely you need to deep clean your coop. Make sure you spray it all down. I actually use this product called Vercon, which kills a lot of bacteria and also sprinkle around that dens powder and get it into those nooks and crannies and kill those mites. Definitely by keeping the coop real clean and hygienic that will definitely lower the amount of mites that you'll have in your coop. So I hope that everyone learnt some valuable information today about mites in your chickens and that everyone has a better understanding on what they are and how to prevent them in your coops. So yeah, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I will be making a lot more videos about our chickens, including showing you our chickens. I haven't really done many chicken videos. Actually, I haven't done any at all, I don't think. So I will do a video shortly um, showing you our coop, our setup, um, what we feed them, um, what waterer we use, because that's pretty cool, and also show you the different breeds, um, the different breeds and the types of chickens that we have. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. No! I stood on it and it puffed all over the concrete.